Okay, video number three. Sorry, just the way it goes. Two hour final should still give you enough time, so let's, uh, let's press forward. Okay, um, we are back to the CSS, and, uh, and so what I'm going to do is come in here. I'm actually going to move the header, rather the body, above the wrapper. And uh, remember, we uh, did the wrapper first. And so I want to sort of keep it in order. So after the wrapper is the header and then the P tag for the title. Okay, next in line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to split view and I'm going to come right to the content. I'm just going to put my cursor right on top of the content here. See it flashing? Um, and you see the blue outline down here. And I'm going to click on new CSS rule. Okay and it wants to combine the two so I'm just going to get rid of wrapper and make sure you bring it all the way to the end here hashtag content this is an ID tag so uh, or an ID selector rather and I'm going to click OK let's see get my notes my cheat sheet here um, hmm yeah there it is content click OK all right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a size width of 750. Hit tab. I'm going to do 800. Oh, I have that reverse. 800 for the width, sorry. 750 for the height. Okay, we're going to do an auto left, auto right. Auto right, auto left. Apply. You see how it shifted over? Okay. I'm going to give it a background color just so we can see something here. And let's see. Um, apply that. There it is. Red. Okay. I'm going to give it a top margin. Go back to box. Top margin of 30. Apply that. And that's not looking right, but okay. We'll. Uh, reduce that. I'm going to actually delete that and come back to it later. Perhaps we don't need it, so take the top margin out. And let's see. And I think that's it. So I'm going to click OK. I'm also going to give this a box shadow. So I'm going to go over to the CS. I'm going to go look for content. And I'm going to hit return. OK. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, that's weird. That's an angle bracket. I hope you didn't do an angle bracket. Okay, let me come back here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this from the wrapper. Oh, that's probably why it didn't show up. And let's see, do that again. Copy. Yeah, that's probably why it didn't show up. And I'm going to paste. Um, but I'm not going to do 50 pixels. I'm going to do about 10 pixels. And that's black. Command S. I'm going to come back and I'm going to look at my um, preview here. And let's see what it looks like. Ah, yeah, you can see the drop shadow on both. See the, yeah, that looks good. Okay, moving on. So I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver here and I'm going to uh, bring my cursor now to our image big frame. So I'm going to put my cursor right there. See how it flashes right there? And I'm going to add a rule and I'm just going to get rid of content and wrapper. Again, it's an ID um, selector and I'm going to click uh, OK. And let's see, for the box we're going to give it a width of um, let's see Let's see, width of 700, okay, tab, 250 for the height, and we're going to go to right and left margin, so everything's going to be centered. Um, let's see, margin top, let's see if that works, 5, and we're actually going to give it some, let's apply this, let's see what we have so far, okay, 
Seems to be okay. Now I think we're going to try some padding. See if it, it formats correctly. Um, we're going to do padding. Huh. Yeah, let's try padding five at the top. Apply. Mm. May, we may not even need that. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it right now. And I'm going to click OK. Let's go back into the Safari and let's refresh it. Did I save it? Maybe I didn't save it. I'll save all. And no, I didn't because I saw the CSS. OK. Good. So now we just have to color it so we can actually see it. OK. Um, so go back to Dreamweaver. Actually, we're not going to color it because all this is is, a, is sort of a box. It's going to contain our little image holders. Okay, so moving down to image holder. Okay, image holder. Um, remember, get that cursor in image holder. And let's go ahead and add a new CSS rule. So I'm going to highlight that and Make sure the cursor is right on the edge here. Image holder. It's an ID uh, selector. I click OK. You can see it clearly right here. But we have to format it so that they line up. OK, image holder. First, I'm going to give it a background. Um, you know, I'm not going to give it a background color because we're going to put a picture in there. OK, so let's go to box first. Let's give it some size. So we're going to give it um, 100. Um, and 90, let's see, 190, actually we will give it some color. I was thinking of the image. Yeah, this is going to have some color. And we'll give it a height of also one, uh, let's, I'm sorry, let's give it width of 200 and a height of 200. So it's going to be a perfect square. Okay, we're going to float it left. And let's see what we have so far. Okay, perfect. See that? And let's see, we're going to give it a top padding of 5. We're going to give it, let's go tab, 15 right, tab, 15 um, bottom, tab, and 15 left. So let's apply that. Ah, that's not too shabby. Um, okay. And block in line. Now we'll have to maybe come back to that. I don't know if that's going to work. Um, it should work, but um, we'll see. Okay. And then a margin, just a top margin. Uh, actually, five all the way around. So same for all. Okay. Good. Now it's actually centered. And. Um, now, in, the, uh, in my later, latest um, Dreamweaver, it allows me to center the text, but I don't think I can do it on this early version. Um, I'm going to have to do it like I did for the, the headline. Okay, we're going to just apply, and then, um, ah, you see that? In line, isn't it? Okay, go back to image holder, so double click it, and uh, I'm going to take that uh, in line off. Say none. Did it come back? Oh, no, 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 no. We do need inline. Okay. I think what happened was the padding. Uh, I'm going to have to pause and figure this out. All right. There's a good reason why I had 190 for the width. That allows us to fit. So, so do, do that, and uh, it should be good. So apply that. Okay. Now we're going to go into... Um, image now. So put your cursor right on image. See how it highlights that blue? So we're going to go over here and we're going to add CSS rule. You got to get rid of all this other stuff. So I'm just going to delete all this. Okay. Now I made a class selector. Let's see if it works in this version. It should. So I'm going to uh, see, see what we have. We have a dot IMG. Now it should have automatically created that if you wrote in class uh, over here. Uh, just make sure class is selected and click OK. And then for this class selector, we're going to give it height and width of 185. So perfect square. 
Now, I don't know if... Uh, okay, that seems to be okay. Okay. <clears throat> and... So... Let's see, 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 let's see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, what else do we want? We want to auto right and left and apply. So that just sort of keeps it in. And then um, let's get that background image. So the first one, I'm going to go to background, I'm going to browse, and I'm going to go to bolt, and I'm going to choose. And no repeat. And apply. Ah, okay. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Click OK. Now, we're going to have to change. Uh, we're going to have to duplicate the image inside the rule. So watch how we do this. I'm going to right click and duplicate. And you simply change copy to 2. And click OK. All right. We're going to change in our design mode to 2, uh, not our design mode, our code mode in the HTML. So that's 2. And, and then this one's going to be 3. Okay. So all that means is, now look, don't worry about that because we have to sort of duplicate. So go to 2, right click and duplicate, and just change this to 3. Okay. And click OK. Now, we just go inside those, I'm going to go to image 2 this time, and double click it, and I'm going to change the background. So I'm going to browse for 2, and choose, and apply. Hello. Good. And I'm going to go to 3, double click it, go to background, browse, and 3, choose, and apply. And there he is. Okay, moving on. We're cranking this out, guys. All right, let's go to the the background image now. Uh, sorry, bottom image. That's BTM and big I. So this is an ID. I'm click OK. And let's see where my cheat sheet is. There it is. Okay. So we're going to go to the box. Give it a width of 760. Okay. We're going to give it a height of 300. We're going to clear both. We're going to apply. You notice that after you clear both. We're going to margin right uh, auto and margin left auto. And no need to give it a color because we're going to give it, uh, let me give it a top margin of 30. Let's see what that does. Ah, very good. Centers it. Well, it, uh, the auto right and left centers it, but then we got this cush cushion um, above. And now we're going to give the background. So browse, and mine's called Sprint. Give it an easy name, guys. No need to, well, you get you understand. So I'm going to apply it, and I'm going to click OK. Okay, it's looking good. Looking good. We just have to center align that, and I'm going to get rid of the text here. You can just simply highlight it. Okay. Let's see, do I have any other text? Yep, you can highlight that, get rid of that, save. That's what we have so far. Uh, let's see, file, save all. Okay. Looks like I only have a minute left. Okay. So let's get moving. Okay, I'm going to go to my paragraph now. I'm going to add. This is going to be a class selector. So we got to go up there, and I'm going to click OK. And for this paragraph, um, I have no quote. I would look for a quote, but I don't have time, so I'm just going to make something up. OK. All right, so I just put in a fake quote, but you have to get one, um, an actual one. So I'm going to refresh my CSS. I'm going to the paragraph, and I'm going to add a CSS rule. OK. Get rid of that, click OK, and okay guys, I got about 10 seconds. 
this is what I did. Pause the video so you can see right here. I hope that helps. Good luck.